I'm out here at the new Costco location. Let's just say you can find the excitement in bulk. We found two people here at the front of the line. All right, gentlemen, what are your names, please? I'm Zach. And I'm Brandon. And we're the Bourbon, the Bourbon Bros. Bros. Awesome. And you guys have been telling me off camera you did an overnight. Is that correct? Yeah, that's right. And we've been here since 6 p.m. last night. That's insane. Um, and you guys also drove in for this. This is a special event for you guys. Well, we, uh, we heard there might be some awesome bourbon deals. And, uh, and that's what got us out of bed last night to get over here. A true Wisconsin answer. We, we really, really appreciate it. What are, you, what are you looking, besides besides the alcohol, what are you looking forward to the most uh, to come out here and, and support the, the Costco? The bourbon. We, well, I mean, we shop at Costco back in Milwaukee. We always want to support the Costco. Okay. And you guys, so you guys are Costco loyalists. Have you guys ever done an overnight like this before? I have not. This would be our first one. Okay. Sa same for you, sir? Yeah, first time. It's lovely. Yeah. It's our first time. Awesome, awesome. Well, thank you guys very, very much. We'll check in with those guys a little bit later. Good morning, Bob. That's right. I am at the new Costco location right off of Highway 53 on Black Avenue. When I came in this morning, there has just been a line of people lined up, some camping overnight, preparing for Costco's opening days. Over here, I have Brandon and Zach, who came all the way from Milwaukee for Costco's opening day. Good morning, guys. Hey, good morning. Morning. All right, so what, what made you guys decide to camp out overnight for Costco's opening day here in Eau Claire? Honestly, it was the bourbon. We hear there's going to be some excellent bourbon deals in there. That is great. So is that the first thing that you're, you're going to buy today? Yeah, first and last. All right, and then, Zach, how have you guys been staying warm camping over here overnight? How did you do it? What were your methods? We got hot hands, we got layers on layers. I got my hunting gear on, sleeping bags. All the works. And are, are you guys, were you Costco members before or is this your first Costco membership? So this is our first Costco camp out, but we were members prior to. All right, and what are you most looking forward to about it being opening day? Actually, I've never experienced an opening day for Costco. It'd be a new experience. It'd be kind of cool to see the ribbon cut. We're excited for that. For sure. And finally, do you guys have any advice for people who may choose to camp overnight uh, at Costco themselves for a grand opening? Definitely. Check the weather. <laughs> That is great advice. That's awesome, guys. Well, thanks so much for chatting with me this morning, and I hope you have fun shopping in Costco today. Doing a real quick update on what we got for our bourbon haul at the new Costco opening. Brandon's gonna go ahead and tell us what we got. All right, guys, I'll walk you through this real quick. Zach, you wanna take the camera down to the bottles here. Started with a Smoke Wagon MGP product, private barrel. This is a select barrel for the Costco grand opening. We ended up with two of those. Obviously had to grab the single barrel there. It was such a good price. You couldn't pass it up. And then we got to the meat of our haul. We got Blanton's Gold, Old Fitz 10. We got the High Ride Peerless, Double Oak, and the Knob Creek 18. Rounded off with another smoke wagon. Overall, pretty satisfied with the haul, guys. Hey, we're finally back from our Eau Claire Costco opening, and uh, we're very excited to share what we purchased with you. Brandon, do you want to tell us a little bit more about, you know, what we got here in front of us? Yeah, trying to keep my eyes open, by the way. Zach got to close his on the ride home. Certainly, these bottles uh, we're super excited about. I think the obvious crown jewels of the loot here are these three in the front. Zach and I have not had these. Neither of us have had any of these bottles that you're seeing in front of you, so we're excited to share these with you as we experience them for the first time, give you our thoughts, our feedback on them, so you can look forward to future videos on those. But more importantly, I think, Zach, you would agree, we want to give you guys our thoughts on the whole experience. Things that we enjoyed, the things we maybe weren't prepared for, maybe some of the shenanigans we encountered along the way as well. We appreciate you guys spending some time with us over the last day. It was an adventure. We're really grateful to be able to share that with you.